industry. So I think that the obviously our major attraction is the coral reef. And over the years, we've talked about pollution of the reef. We've talked about, um, you know, we don't have a West Coast story system, the way it impacts the reef and so on. But over the 35 years that we have been in existence, the whole concept of planting and replanting coral and growing coral and creating nurseries. And we really have to thank um, the organization Coral, um, which basically is trying to ensure that we can grow and have coral nurseries where any broken off coral can be harvested. And you, you attach it to a frame and you can actually monitor it and get that coral not to die and get thrown away, but to grow. Um, Atlantis does not have um, one of those projects started, but we are about to. So we are going to establish a coral nursery with the help of Barbados Blue. And Andre Miller was uh, an employee of Atlantis as well. He's gone on to do great things. And we really are looking forward to uh, Andre's assistance to set up the coral nursery and to start to look at how we can regenerate coral. Um, in Barbados, what we've seen is where there's going to be construction or anything that may affect coral reefs, that you can actually go harvest that coral under the guidance of the Coastal Zone Management Unit and actually get it to re regrow in another area. Years ago, dredging and so on, you know, the coral was lost. You don't have to do that anymore. Um, so we are very excited to get involved with that. Um, I think that the issue of education has always been very close to our hearts. So a lot of the people that I see actually came on Atlantis as children. So the Living Classroom program, which is where we go into primary schools and secondary schools, and we do a very special rate. And that tour really has information about why is it important for Barbadians and residents to take care of the on-land sewage and runoff and how it impacts in the ocean. So we've seen a lot of school children and we're going to restart that program as soon as the protocols allow. But that is really where, that's always been our big gift back. We do it at a nominal rate and we do charity um, tours all year long. Once, and we have a number of teachers that will reach out and say we have some kids that can't afford to do the tour. And we say, send them, you know, send them. And that's what we want to do this year as well. We need to work with all the agencies to be able to educate Barbadians um, better. And we now need to go out with another local thrust. Because since we've restarted, we really have not, I mean, the, the, the local numbers have been very difficult. Um, but. <music>